Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So if you noticed from the title, I am doing Prue Hallowell's makeup today. But before I get started on the makeup, I just wanted to talk about this wig. It's what tied in the whole look. So this wig right here is from a brand on Amazon called Khalees. And they have a bunch of cute wigs for very affordable prices, like this one right here. The wigs usually run from $19, sometimes $14 and up. Very cheap. So if you just want to do a quick cosplay, this wig will definitely come in handy for a couple of cosplays I'm looking forward to. But I got this wig specifically for Prue. It is Japanese silk, 100%. It is heat resistant, but I did flip up the hairs and it was kind of frizzing out a bit. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. In case you do look at their wigs and plan on styling them, make sure it's on very low heat because they can't handle too hot of a curling iron or straightener. But it's very natural looking, soft to the touch. It doesn't really have any type of hair base up here. It's not like my typical wig reviews. This is just for cosplay purposes. I'm not gonna wear this out. I literally just wanted this wig to do Prue's makeup. But it did the job and I'm excited. So without further ado, if you are interested, I'll leave it down below, but let's get started on the makeup. Hey guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is change your eye color unless you have grayish blue eyes like Prue's but I don't and you don't have to do this but I I'm kind of like a freak like that and then I want to get it as clear as possible I'm just using these fresh tone lenses right here from pretty fabulous in the color gray so I'm just going to place this in my eyes okay like that big difference here Okay, now you're gonna look like this with some gray eyes. I can already feel those Prue vibes from here. I'm basically just focusing on the makeup that she wears in the first season before her hair grew out and whatnot, which is why my hair is short. And it's very 90s. Uh, Charmed was filmed in the really late 90s, and you guys know I love the 90s. So of course I had to do some type of 90s look, and she's the first one to come. Of course, I'm gonna get to... Alyssa Milano, Phoebe's character, and a couple of others. So let's get started on the makeup. So Prue wears very light face makeup. So I'm just going to use a BB cream. A sheer tint foundation will work for you guys. So I'm just going to put it on my hands and just rub it together and just place it all over my face. Like I said, she has a very natural makeup. So I don't really want to appear that I'm really wearing makeup. I'm even gonna go as far as skipping concealer because I don't really need it today and you can tell that there's not that heavy concealer. So this is gonna be a really easy makeup if you're into that fresh 90s makeup. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder. I'm taking the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline and rubbing this all over, not rubbing it, but taking a powder brush and just, just so it's not sliding everywhere. You just really want to keep that natural look of skin. Now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows to be like more ebony color. So I'm just going to take like a taupe-ish color. You can skip this step if you already have natural brunette hair, but I need to do this because my eyebrows are red, but your eyebrows don't have to be perfect. They are going to be covered with bangs because Prue had bangs in the first season. Okay, now that I've done that, I just wanted to lightly do that because I don't want to be too crazy with the makeup. Like I said, I'm really going to keep this natural, very natural. I'm just going to fill in my mole because I feel like when I put that BB cream in, it kind of lost color. And it's pretty helpful that we both have a nose mole, so that makes this look a lot easier. <laughs> now for blush, she always has like a pink face <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's just her natural tone so I'm just going to use this lip and cheek color stick from Ulta Beauty and it's called punchy and I'm just going to rub it on my hands and um, place this on my cheeks like I said I'm pretty sure that is just the natural hues on her face but she has a bunch on her nose and I just love this nice effortless makeup. I feel like I don't really look good when I do this, but 
a lot of people do so I'm just placing this all over my cheeks it's okay if it's shiny like I said the shinier the better because then it looks like your natural skin okay there we go you can see my face up close now and this is the easy part she wears very very minimal makeup so I'm just using this palette right here I'm just not even going to prep the eyes or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a taupey color to take this one up here and I'm going to place that in the crease. Okay, so you're just going to be blending in like this very effortlessly. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to take the darker color underneath, which is this one right here. It's just a darker taupe color, and I'm just going to line my upper lash line. I'm just going to do this. even see that I have I'm putting eyeshadow on it's just a very nice and natural and what you're gonna do is just take your brush and just kind of blend the two together very effortlessly I know they did this a lot in the 90s they just really just blended a few eyeshadows together just to show that you had shadow on so what I'm gonna do now is just take a black eyeshadow right here and just run it underneath my lash line very lightly kind of like the effect of black eyeliner like that and then we're going to blend it afterwards okay and with that same blending brush we are going to blend it out Skip curling your lashes and just place a little bit of mascara on. Like that. Is basically it for the eyes. Like I said, very simple, effortless. You'll definitely be seeing her wear this if you watch the show. If not, it's on Netflix, so go ahead and binge watch it. That's what I'm doing right now. Now for the lips. She has nice full lips. She always has this peachy color, so I'm just mixing two lipsticks. I'm taking both MAC lip pencils, and I'm taking Strip Down, and I am taking Boldly Bear. I'm going to line with Boldly Bear first. Uh, it's a little peachy looking, so you want to make sure you take strip down. Kind of mold the two together. She has those nice full lips. And you want to make sure that your lips look moisturized so her lips never looked too matte. So I'm just taking a lip balm. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this Prue Hallowell tutorial. I loved her in the show, especially in the first seasons when you really get to know her and her attitude and everything. I know she doesn't stay the whole series, but I just love her look and it's very 90s and you know this is what that channel is this channel is all about is recreating looks from the 90s and I'm not too sure how much attention this video is gonna get but I don't care because I was really excited to film this look and I felt like I captured her aura with the makeup and the outfit and the hair so thank you guys so much for watching 
Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification button so you never miss a video. I love you guys so much. Bye.